Yo, what up, fam? It's your boy Michael B coming at you with another dope Christian TV webisode. Now, this is not going to be your usual webisode, but it's going to be something that I've been wanting to share for a little while. So, you ready? Let's get to it. I have a video that I want to share with you guys, something that I did that I normally don't do, but I normally do do it. That makes any sense that didn't really sound right so around October 15th of last year 2018 I was getting off work and if you want to speed past this you're more than welcome to speed past this I'm just giving you guys a brief introduction to the video that I'm about to get ready to show you it was a homeless guy eating out of the dumpster so I ordered him some food and I'll just show you guys pretty much how that went between me and him I feel like I did something that I should have done and I'll be doing it quite more often on my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, watch the video till the end, and I'll see you guys after the video. Peace out. Guys, I'm at a Whataburger, um, just picking up some food. Now, this is something that I, um, that I was telling you guys about, um, and I'm kind of rough, so excuse me, but um, I wanted to do this for this homeless guy. I saw him eating out of a dumpster. And no one should ever have to eat out of a dumpster um, ever in their life. Hey, man. What's, what's your name, man? Eric. Eric? Yeah. So why why do you find yourself eating? Like, why do you find yourself eating in the trash? State Farm. State Farm? I was a passenger in a car wreck. Right. And all they did was just... I don't know, the doctors, chiro chiropractor messed me up worse than an accident. Right. He kicked me out, and then the lawyer kicked me out. And then State Farm, they just refused to, I don't know what happened. I really, I. Well, let me ask you this. You don't mind being on camera, do you? Oh, you don't mind being on camera? Man, this, is, this is my lawyer. <laughs> right. This is my lawyer. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he, he ain't do nothing but throw me in the ditches. Right, he was your lawyer and threw you in the ditch? Yeah, it wow. threw me in the ditches. Wow. And I, I was telling him, look, I can I can drive a taxi cab. All I need is my, I, I got about three tickets. All I need is about a thousand bucks. Right. He, he kidding me. He said I had 15,000, which that ain't going to cover no back surgery. Right. But I'd have been happy with 15,000. Then right. it went down to 10, then went down to five, and then went down to zero. Right. Right. I mean, I was a passenger. How the hell I didn't get paid? Let me tell you this, John. The, 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 I'm going to tell you like this, man. There is help. There is help and there is hope for you. No matter, you know, no matter, no matter your situation and circumstances. And I do this, yeah. like, I'm, I'm actually a YouTuber. And yeah. uh, I do YouTube. And I work for the post office as well, but I'm a YouTuber as well. Yeah. And I truly believe, man, that, you know, nobody, it, there is help for everybody out here on the face of this earth. And you, and you never have to, and you never have to, worry about your current situation man because god still has a plan just, for your life i just want to i just want to give you this um i just want to give you this everybody food just, man i don't know i don't know everybody just somehow here they can look at you and say oh no nah, you ain't hurt i'm believing in god for a complete turnaround for your life and for everything that you everything that you need man i'm believing that within the next couple of months you're gonna have everything that you need man you know i'm believing i'm believing that god's gonna do that for you man i'm believing that god's gonna do that for you so continue to have the faith and, and I, I, I'm trying to believe. <laughs> well, I want to I want to say like a little quick prayer, a little quick prayer for you, and, and just and just and just believe that God is gonna um, that He's gonna begin to guide you and connect all the puzzle pieces for you. You'll you know you'll have everything that you need, man. If not, I, I ain't worried about it. I know you will. Well, Father, we just we thank you for.
Jesus name. Amen. You're welcome, man. So this, this is my friend. This is my friend, Eric, and um, he's a good guy, man. We'll just pray for him and um, he's going to be all right. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. So that was something very different for me. I was not even going to go to Whataburger. I don't even really eat Whataburger. And for some reason, I just I switched lanes to actually get over to go back to Whataburger after I passed it up. And I'm on the phone with my mother. We're talking about a couple of things. And next thing you know, I look over to my right and I see a guy eating out of a dumpster. And I'm like, I thought I was tripping. I hesitated. And this is what's crazy. I was actually going through the drive through But before I went through the drive through I wanted to get off of my cell phone with my mother. So that caused me to kind of be in a pause stall like situation where I didn't move forward. So I look over and I see him in the dumpster and I'm like, nah, that can't be someone. So I drive up a little bit and as I'm about to go through the drive through then I see him walk away from the dumpster. And that's when I called him and I said, man, you don't have to eat out of a dumpster. And it's different for me that that experience came like that, but I realized that it had to happen for a specific reason. And it really felt good. So anytime you see someone in need, no matter if it's a child, an elder, whoever it may be. Because me, I once used to be homeless, so I know what it feels like to not have food, to have to beg for food, to have to ask for food. I know how it feels to actually do that. So for me to really help him out, you know, it's, I'm glad I did it. So if you haven't learned anything else from this video, fam, just know that when you see someone in need, make sure you help them. Remember, you are created to be more than average, but you were created to be dope. Grace, peace, and love, fam. Till next time.